I am so happy that you're here today uh, on I'm the show. I'm so proud to be here with you. Well, I'm proud to be here with you because, yep, you're gay too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do you remember, like, how was it for you? Because when you say, it's one thing to know you're gay or to feel you're gay, but when you tell someone and that comes out of your mouth, do you remember the first time you told someone you were gay? I was trying to think. I think it was uh, in a bar in, uh, in college. And, uh, and I had a girlfriend that I, that I just thought was the end of the world. And so I was sitting in a bar and I said to somebody, I'm gay. Well, I mean, I thought it was a great thing to, it was a great thing to announce. Uh-huh. You did. But it wasn't so great at that yeah. time. It was like, you know, sure. late 60s. Yeah. Well, you were working then, right? What no, I didn't start working until the last show of 69 on Laugh-In. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. I assumed you were on Laugh-In the whole time. No, I, I came in the third year. Wow. And so when you, so you were conscious that everyone you worked with knew you were gay or no? Were you hiding it? Well, yeah, not, not, I didn't hide it. I couldn't bear that. But uh, I didn't, I didn't volunteer it. Mm -hmm. But people, people gradually knew. Right. And, and how long have you been with Jane? <laughs> 51 years in March. <laughs> That's good. That's so funny. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That's, I'm so envious of that. That's so great to have that amount of time with someone. It, it really is. I, I, I can't believe it's that long. It just seems like a couple of years or something. Well, that's great. That's great. Yeah, no, I know. It's wonderful. And y'all are, you, it seems like you're different, but this thing you have in common is the last time I was Zooming, you were on the show, you were Zooming, and uh, I, you seem to buy, you both seem to buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> like, like weird stuff. Well, we, well. <laughs> well, the, mo the, most I've, the most recent thing we've bought, and we each bought it se separately. Wait, you both bought what? A weighted blanket. You, you know? separately bought it? Yeah, and the, the same one. It's like, and it's a, a army green. It's terrible. Anyway, so, I, in fact, I see here. Oh my God! It's really weighted. This is it. It's a weighted blanket. It's a weighted blanket. And you, well, it's still in the box because you have another one. I, do you use I, the things? No, you I never. Well, I never used it because, see, Fonda told me that she said, "Oh, I had a, the best night's sleep. I, I have a weighted blanket." And it's so great. And I called Jane. I said, we got to get weighted blankets. That'll be something super to really sleep. And, and so had... then I learned, after the, the, then I bought one and Jane bought one at the same time. And we got both blankets delivered to the house. And I, so then I looked up on the, on the internet what people said about owning one. And uh, it was just outrageous. It was the things like, Linda says the blanket was obviously restricting my body's ability to, <laughs> to digest food at night. <laughs> and, okay, I'll just read a cup. Sure, I got the weighted blanket. I've had knee and lower back pain. Now I'm, now I'm under the care of two doctors. <laughs> it's good to know that this was the, the probable cause. Another, the, the weighted blanket made half my body fall asleep, and I was in such a deep sleep that I did not wake up. <laughs> I did not, I'm sorry, I'm so tickled. I did not wake up in time. I woke up feeling paralyzed on half my body. <laughs> wow, not good reviews. Well, we're, we don't know. Those are those people, but it does seem constricting. To, does anyone sleep with a weighted blanket? A bunch of people do. Happily? Every yeah. <laughs> well. Someone gave me the weighted eye mask because it's supposed to, but I tried it and to me that was way too heavy. Well, you can't move around. No, you, you, as soon well, as you move, yeah. I don't, it doesn't go around your head? No, no. It just lays there. It lays there, so you have to sleep like that the whole night, which who does, you know? <laughs> so you're doing a movie, this with Tom Brady. Good for you, doing a movie with Tom Brady. Well. Not just me. No, I know. I, I'm in it. Fonda's in it. Jane Fonda's in it. Uh, Sally Field and Rita Moreno. And Tom Brady. And Tom Brady. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, we're, we're, we're really, we start shooting on 
sometime in a, about 10 days. And uh, it's real nerve wracking, you know, because you, when you start a movie, you don't know what's going to happen. But I know that I just think all these women, we will have a lot of fun. Of course you will. Yeah. And you're not, now Grace and Frankie is ending, but you'll be able to still be with Jane or Fonda, as you call her. We. I say Fonda because my partner's name is Jane. Right, that makes sense. And it's... You have to separate them. Yeah. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Uh, we have to take a break more with Lily after this. We're back with the marvelous Lily Tomlin. And, uh, you know, I think the last time you were here and Fonda was here, we were talking about uh, Dolly Parton finally being on before Grace and Frankie ended. And yes. She, and she was. Now... And she, yeah, she's on our last episode. It was so fabulous that she's tried for a long time to get on the show. Uh, of course, we wouldn't have her until she... <laughs> <laughs> so she finally worked everything out with her schedule, and she came and did the last episode, and it was really fun and exciting. How is it, how is it for the three of you to be together? It's great. It's really... It's just like it's all, it always been. Even yeah. when we started, it was like that. Yeah. Uh, we, we rented a bungalow at Beverly Hills Hotel, and uh, we stayed in that bungalow and told stories about ourselves, and and just carried on. It was just so, it was so easy for That's us fantastic. from the start. Do you think about doing a remake? Oh, yeah. You we should. Have, we've, all, we've all thought about it. We've tried so often to get a script. Uh, you know, and now the, now the workplace is so different. Yeah. And it's more needed than ever. Yeah. Oh, I think it would be great if y'all did yeah. that. Somebody should write that. Somebody for sure. could. Yeah. Um, Frankie. Frankie is very into hippie stuff and spirituality, and uh, how close are you to that character, or are you? Well, I, I, well, probably closer than I even realize or want to acknowledge, but, uh, like when I, but I started thinking, because I used to go see an astrologist, you know, just, it was always kind of fun, kind of exciting, and I had an astrologist friend, and, and she said, um, oh, when you come and see me next time, uh, I'm going to tell you where to go on your birthday so you can work on your spirituality, your personal life, or your uh, career. So she sends us up uh, to a town way up north in California. I'm not going to mention the name of it. Uh, and it took us like a long time to get there, a couple of flights, and then we had to drive a limo into town. And it was a white limo, big, flashy white limo. That's the only limo they had. And, uh, and so there was, a, and there was in the movie house there, there were three horror films playing. So we went to the first hor horror film, like on the night we got there. We had to get there a day early so that, so that my son's sign returned in all of something, something, something. And so <laughs> when I went in, the kids are so excited. Lily, what are you doing here in town? Oh, this is so, and they gave me a free box of milk duds and all that stuff. And, <laughs> Then they said, uh, oh, this is so exciting. And I said, I'm just passing through. So the next night, Jane and I looked at each other. We said, should we go to the movies again? There was just so nothing to do in the town. So when I go to the movie the second night, they're just like, they're kind of dispirited. Lily, you're still here in town? <laughs> oh, and I was so embarrassed. I said, yes, I, uh, you know, I just, I like being here and I wanted to spend a little more time. Anyway. Finally, by the last night, they were just disdainful. They, you know, uh, they looked at me with contempt. From now on, listen to Jane. Yeah, I yeah. should. Okay. All right. Hey, uh, the final episode of Grace and Frankie starts streaming tomorrow on Netflix. We'll be right back.